How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family, what I'm going to present today is the full video of Mr. Arbery when he was pulled over by the pigs in 2017. We know, my royal family, um, mainstream media plays a big part in making us look in the worst way possible. So when I've seen this video, I already knew right away that they was going to show bits and pieces um, of truly how I, um, um, the title that I put, the spirit of, the spirit. We're getting an insight on the spirit of Mr. Arbery. And I want the royal family to be loyal to the royal within you. And the reason why I'm saying that, when they had finally contacted his mother and they came at his mother like, well, your son got killed because he was, you know, breaking and entering. And she um, accepted it um, for what it was. And we even heard her even talk about it, that the way she was raised, you respect authority. But I know it had to be something within this woman, but she was afraid to be loyal to it, afraid to question it. We all have been affected by the system. And they have done us like that many a times. You know, they'll tell you something about one of your loved ones and you wholeheartedly believe it. We got folks out there like that. We truly do. So before I get into this video, there's some other things that I want to set up. Okay. The, this is, I guess, the McMichaels, they relative, his daughter and her brother, her father and brother, whatever, are locked up. And I don't know if anybody knew about this, but they, but she put his body on her Snapchat. And the excuse that she came up with is she's real fascinated with things like that. So that's a what I call a breach. The first breach is when they came at him. And we know we know now, listening to Lisa's channel and others, that they chased him for four minutes. That's a long time. That is a long time. So that's that was the first breach. And then the actual encounter, putting your hands on our royal body, displaying our royal body before the world. And y'all always got fucking excuses. See, what you don't fully understand that we are truly the chosen ones. So the blood on your hand, which is our royal blood, there is nothing that you can do to wash it away. As I speak into the universe, you get no peace, you get no rest. Everything you deal with from henceforth will be uncomfortable in your life. Before it's all said and done, you will literally be on your knees begging to our father to take me out because the anguish that you're gonna feel within, and that's all of them that have violated us, my royal family, they're going to be begging for death. It's in the word. It's truly in the word. So when y'all fucking around with these royal bodies, it's a breach. They, they love just touching on us. Touch your hair. Want to have sex with you. Want to gaze at you. You know, they, you, when they say we're irresistible, it's too much. So that's a breach. You don't let nobody get up 
in your rim. You 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 put that rim around you where you getting a little bit too motherfucking close. In the way they deal with our bodies, just very disrespectful. Totally disrespectful. So, now we're going to get into this video. So, what we are about to witness, my royal family, I'm asking you, please look at this with your spiritual eyes. Listen with your spiritual ears. Again, be loyal to speak core truth, core truth, and be loyal to thyself because it helps us all. I try my best. I don't think I'm 100% there, but I'm, I'm getting there because I need my family. I need our father where you have to be unforgiving about the assessment of the enemy and the enemy's supporters. Because what I was looking at, yes, the blatant disrespect, the same usual that they always do to us, but then there was something very deep about our royal son's spirit. What's going on, man? What's your name? What is it? Amon? What's you doing out here, man? What's up? You off work today? Gotcha. You got an ID on you, man? Alright, thanks, man. Grab everything with you, okay? 25 dispatch, I'll be on service. 25 service. Good. Get a 27 28 through Georgia, please. Tesla. 25, go ahead with that 27. It's going to be 058065478. 058-065-478. Papa, Papa, Quebec, Zulu, 4442, PQZ, 4442. LLM058. Yeah, give me a second, man. Why well, am I fucking with you? You want to know why I'm fucking with you? Keep your hand in your pocket. I ain't got shit on me. What the fuck you fuck with me for? I'll tell you why I'm here, man. I'll tell you why I'm here. Because this area is known for drug activity. Drug? How the fuck I'm drug attack when I work at Blue Beach? Back up. Check my shit. Back right? up. The fuck you talking about? You check want to back up? Check my shit. Bitch, you hit me Send me another shit, unit, bitch. please. Send up. me another unit. Shit. The fuck you talking about? Oh, boy. Turn around put your hands on the car. Wow. Turn around put your hands on the car. What's up, bro? Turn around put your hands on the car. I'm checking you for no weapons. Reason. I'm checking you for check weapons. You got no reason to touch me, bro. I'm not searching you. I'm checking you for weapons. All right, man? You don't have any warrants. I know, but you're coming up on me. Make me kind of nervous. Okay. You bother me for nothing. I work at Blue Beacon, bro. Where's Blue Beacon? Blue Beacon is on exit 29, man. Okay. Listen, man, I'm not I'm not here to ruin your day. I'm here 
to look for any kind of criminal activity. That's all criminal I'm doing. Criminal activity? I'm in a fucking park. I work. The fuck are you talking about? I fucking work. Check my okay. damn history. Go to my job. Okay. She call my job right now. I go I to work. I call your job, man. Shit, what the fuck you talking about? I'm not going to your car. Don't Back up. Bro, don't touch me, bro. You can't touch Listen. me, bro. Don't touch my car and don't touch me. I'm now, my royal family. Now, I usually, I usually hear white boys talk like this to the cops. Oh, they women do too. I, we didn't see the videos where they'll cuss them out and all of that. So you know when the enemy see this, they immediately are going to say, see, he's violent, he's hostile, and all of that. One doesn't have to do with the other. Many people in the royal family is fucking done with the cops fucking with us for no fucking reason. Just existing on the earth is a crime. You know, we can be sleep and get arrested. We can be in the hospital getting arrested. We can be on the damn toilet getting arrested. We are truly sick and tired of your ass because we already know game. We already know what it's all about. Our royal son could feel, he's empathic. He could feel the fuckery and the bullshit. But let's keep in mind when the enemy start putting up their argument, they don't have a motherfucking argument because we can pull up numerous videos. I didn't seen them put their hands on them and they still deal with them with full respect. So our royal son had every right to say what he wanted to say. It is what it is because we done and he was done that particular day. This brother works six days a week he trying to chill. He in the car rapping. The acoustics is better. I know. I sing in the car all the time. As we continue on. I'm not touching your car. Don't touch I'm me, looking bro. inside of your car. Don't touch me. Before. You can't look inside my shit. Another. Yeah, I'm 10-4. Send me another unit. You can't touch me, bro. Straight up. I'm not touching you. Okay? That's 10-18. Just, uh... Very angry. Listen, man. What are you doing out here? You just chilling? Chilling, bro. I'm rapping. So he calls for backup. You can hear the fear in the enemy's voice. Now he got a gun. He got a taser. He got a billy club. He got all kind of shit. And he's scared. This brother don't, don't even have a damn pocket knife on him. And he was speaking very coded. They already knew when the other cops was on their way that it was a black man. When I was reading the article, he had the nerds say um, veins was popping all out his neck and all that shit. But I said, fuck it, I ain't going to read the article. We're going to look at it for what it is, for what it really is and how they really get down. And he has the right. And that's when they start looking at you a little different where, you know, can I check your car out? No, you don't have the right. So they'll hesitate for um, a bit on shit like that. But this pig is scared shitless as we continue on. I'm rapping in the car. Okay. To instrumental. Okay. That's fine. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. I get that you're working. What, what, what else you want from me? I'm just trying to figure out what's going on out here, man. I'm working. Rapping. I rap. Okay. Damn, what the hell is you talking about? I know, you're just, you're just acting I'm very, you're, you're jumping around, getting a little bit nervous on me. I think I see something plastic in the dry, in the thing over here. Go ahead, bro. You can't go in my car. You're not allowing me to search your car? You can't go in my seat. I'm not asking you. Just don't reach the car, man. Get your hand out your pocket. Hands out your pocket. Get your pocket. Down. Warning, down. Stay on the ground. Just stay on the ground, okay? Keep your hands out. No, keep your I've checked, hands out. I already checked for weapons. I've checked him for weapons. Okay. Listen, man. I'm not here to mess with you, okay? I've been cool with you the entire time. You get out of the car, you come up on me, okay? I get that, man, and I'm just here to make sure everything's okay. I don't know you, you don't know me, all right? I'm rapping. I rap, bro. I rap. 
I got you, man. But when you run up on me and you get really jerp, jumpy, that's going to make me nervous, too. I got one day off a week. One day. Okay. One day off a week. I'm trying to chill on my day off, bro. I'm up I got early you. in the morning trying to chill. I see. And I get that. I want I get one to chill, too. But we get a lot of bad stuff that happens out here. We get gang and drug activity. We get all kinds of stuff out here. You ain't tied up in any of that? No, it is not. But when you get up and start acting, when you get up and start getting all crazy on me, it gets me, it makes me a little bit nervous. You know what I mean? I'm not here to mess with your day, man. I am not here to fuck with you. I'm not here to fuck up your day. I am here to make sure everything's cool. But when you start getting jumpy, it makes me kind of nervous, thinking maybe there's something else going on here. Okay? I don't have anything, bro. I don't have anything. I'm just so aggravated because I work hard six days a week. I'm aggravated, bro. No, I got gotcha. you. My wife not here. I'm chilling. I'm trying to ease my mind, bro. Chill. Route. I get that. So you don't have anything in the car? Because I looked in the driver. I looked in the I looked in the middle of your car in the center console. I saw I saw some kind of plastic in there. If it's weed, I don't care. So with that with that being said, you mind if I just look in your car really quick? Would you be okay with that? You can say no if you if you don't want us to check your car. Okay. That's all we need, man. I know. I'm investigating suspicious activity, not doing a traffic stop. Okay? So in the park chilling, that, that's a uh, crime. Well, when it's way back here. I know, man. It's just kind of weird. We don't see cars sitting out here that often. That's all that is, man. Okay? Okay. Here's your ID back, man. Okay? I'm not here to mess with you. Like I said, I'm just here to make sure that people are doing their supposed to. If you're just chilling, that's fine. Okay? I'm not here to chill, okay? I'm going to get out of your hair. Just want to make sure that everything was cool here. I'm not, nobody's not coming here. I'm chilling. It's only okay, one man. I got you, man. But you get, you get what happened here. I got you. I'm not here to mess with you today, okay? I got you. You're good to go. I'm going to talk to my partner over here, all right? If you, you can, well, your car, you technically, your license is suspended. So, technically, you can't really drive the car. We'll go ahead and get your hair, man. Yeah. Yeah, he was very, very jumpy. Yeah, it's because I got here to find out what's going on. And he, the second I pull up, he gets out of his car, which I'm okay with. I'd rather be out of the car so I can see what he's all about. What's up? Your phone? Your phone? Yeah, I'm watching. But, um... Smell the inside of his car. Huh? You know, if it's, tell me if you can smell anything that smells like weed. It smells like more cigarette, but there is like a burnt weed smell in that car. I just couldn't get close enough to tell. Nasty smell. Yeah, I just smell a little bit of weed. It smells a little bit yeah, of weed. It's nasty. Or nasty, I can smell the, the nastiness. Yeah. So why don't we tow this car and we'll do an inventory search? What do you think? Can we do that? What would you tow it for? It's on, uh, Show me out, it's improperly parked. Sorry, park, 85, park's not closed. Yeah, gotcha. Oh, units, yeah, we're 10-4 out here. Okay. Yeah, you're good. 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 Yeah, you are he wouldn't let me search the car, but since he's gone now, now I'm able to actually get up close to the car, and now I smell a little bit of burnt weed inside, but before I didn't have any reason for him to stop, so. Yeah, he's out. He's on that, he's in that, uh, coat walking down Townsend. Okay. He was very aggravated. Yeah, that was, 
I tried to tase him. You did try to tase him? Yeah. It got to the point where you had to tase well, him? Well, it was, uh, I didn't realize he had already patted him down for weapons, and he, I could see there's like a wallet or something, yeah. and I could yeah. see him going like that, and he had a big heavy coat on, yeah. he just wasn't moving fast enough, but, yeah, he was, he was very agitated just for me being out here talking to him, but it's a little weird to see a car way out here. Yeah, there's some seeds and there's some stems in there in the plastic in the in the car. But I guess we can't really search it now since he's not here. If we would have, I, I really believe from his actions, his agitation, if we would have went hands on to arrest him for whatever reason, that would have been on the beaches. Yeah, he was easy to agitate. Yeah. You got his name and birthday on it? Yeah. You ran him already? Yeah, Ram, he was clean. He's, he's, he's license is suspended. You're going to do something with it or you're not. That's up to you. I'm, I'm help you 1-8-5, service. Will you put all that information into my CAD notes, please? LT, you know, since he's no longer here, yeah. and now I smell weed coming from the car, do we search that vehicle or just la leave it be for now? You see the, you see the scenes? They're playing me? Call. Put in the call. I see what looks like marijuana, and I put my nose up to the open window right here. See the and right now? It looks like it, right in the uh, in the center console, that plastic wrapping. Does it look like seeds to you? I can't tell what it is. I wouldn't mess with it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I had to smell weed, so. I'm going to check to see if he has anything in previous and spill and I'll do maybe, I'll probably just do a quick incident report here, just because there was a possibility he was attempted to be tased, and his taser didn't go off, so I will probably just do an India on this one, just to secure thing in case somebody claims excessive force, or something like that. What do you think? Did he hear it go off? Oh, yeah. I don't quite remember. It was all, it was all heat of the moment. We got him down on the ground on his knees to keep him, you keep him calm. Verbally got him on the ground. Or you yeah, verbally, verbally got him on his knees. Yeah, I'll do a report on it. Yes, sir. Yeah, there's definitely he's definitely doing a lot more than just chilling on a uh, Tuesday morning. So I'll do a quick report out here. Thanks for coming out, LT. Well, my royal family, we see how they truly get down. This ain't nothing new um, to the royal family at all. And the area that Mr. Arbery was parked, I wouldn't be surprised he has parked there before. But the way they are trained, or even before they're trained, to um, look at us like we're always up to doing something nefarious and we have to be the same way we've been way lo too long um, um being lackadaisical watch them real close like they watch us watch where they put their hands and everything we must do that we are in a war and a lot of us walk around here like we ain't in no damn war until we encounter one of them motherfuckers so um it's obvious that he has dealt with the cops before, and it's an irritation, you know. And they'll try to put anything on you. So if somebody encounter him, if if somebody had encountered him again, they could look up something. Do you know it wigs them out when they call your name, when they look you up and they don't find nothing? That bothers them. That bothers them because they all want to have some type of contact especially with our kings because that's a righteous of passage in the black community to have contact with the pigs um, and have that negative experience and then you tripping off of I mean in a dark car you see seeds which is bullshit and stems this is bullshit and all of that it's all bullshit but I'm glad that I was able to find this um, this video because I wanted the full picture. And I said, wow, look at our king's spirit. So when he was encountering the McMichaels, 
Hell yes, he was supposed to fight. See, the enemy, they want you to just stand there where, where, with impunity where they can just load, just load up bullets in us. And if we flinch slightly, um, we're being aggressive. No, he, he comes from royalty. You're supposed to fight to the bitter fucking end. Truly, the bitter end. But these are the things that not in this country, but in other countries, I, 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 like, I like getting their response because they'll say, oh, wow, I didn't know it was like that in America. They give a picture like stay away from black folks. They always doing this. They always doing that. And I had that mindset. But now we in the information technology and everybody seeing this shit go down. How they just fuck with us. You mean a black man can't sit in his car and just um, rap and chill and listen to some music? It's a problem with that. Yeah, that's how they get down. You know, they want to keep those um, those mental shackles on us. And we are past the point of irritated. We, you know, it's like you didn't been already pushed off the cliff, hit the rocks and everything. Been there, done that. What's next? Because we pick up on your demonic energy. We pick up on your fuckery and all the games that you play. And this video has nothing to do with his death, but it truly shows our king's spirit. It truly show you how the enemy, with all their little fancy shit, they still scared to death. That taser didn't go off because our father didn't want it to go off that day. You know, and when he seen, and I mean, it wasn't even five minutes, I think, expired. He instantly started getting scared of him. You got gun every damn, every damn thing. And then he speak and code it. You know how, how, you know, they want us to act a certain way. I mean, I didn't hear white folks call them every name in the book, spit at them, everything. And they'll still be going, yes, sir. No, sir. I have seen this. I ain't exaggerating this. And we have all seen it. But when we do it, then whatever in this situation happened to him, oh, he deserved it. So, since we deserve getting what we getting, well then, these characters deserve the karma that they are going to get from our father. His so-called dusty daughter going to put his raw body up there like that? And then come with them funky ass excuses? No. What they was doing, because I, I didn't see it, but I heard it, where on Facebook, the father um, was um, bragging that his son had killed him. See, they celebrate that shit. And when that video was circulating in their community, that, that's pouring at him. They were celebrating that. And our father, our father was the one that presented that. Because ain't nobody had no compassion. See, we give these people too much power. We give them way too much power. You know? And somebody like, oh, somebody leaked it out. or No, 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 our father put that out point ass blank but I'm trying to tell the enemy and the enemy's support of something real deep continue with your game continue to do what you do to us the karma is instant now coronavirus ain't going nowhere it will affect your immediate situation in many many ways keep your fucking hands off our royal bodies mind your own motherfucking business Leave us the fuck alone. Take your ass on. You need to deal with your shit. You always worried about us. Like you so vastly concerned. You always want to be in our affairs. Always wondering what we doing and what we thinking. And we ain't thinking about you. When we close our door, we ain't thinking about you. We are enjoying our families. We ain't busting our families upside the head doing a a shut off. We're, we, we're, we're, we're taking joy where we can get off of these plantations and not look at y'all demonic ass where y'all go to work all day just fucking with people day in and day out, writing up people, lying on people, shitting on people, telling on people. It's going to be a heavy cause henceforth fucking with the royal family. So I'll leave it right there, my royal family. Render your voice 
with your beautiful divine words. And as always, my royal family, I thank you for your love and I thank you for your support. And with that said, I shake.